It's agonizing wait, waiting for them anyway when you need them. Some Madison County residents that live off of Highway 70 are concerned about the construction that has the road down to one lane in two areas. If it was me out here, I'm having a heart attack and I need an ambulance, time, minutes count. And the light stays red three minutes and you know, there's an ambulance sitting there at a red light with the lights on and can't get through to whoever's needing them. TDOT says cameras like this one detect motion and traffic flow, but have no way to detect an emergency vehicle coming through. It would be especially difficult for first responders to get through this construction zone as drivers say this road heading from Jackson to Bolivar was blocked for more than 10 minutes Monday. Emergency officials say there's really nothing that emergency vehicles can do to get around all this congestion. But they do say there are some things drivers can do to make sure everyone is safe. Trooper Gina Eubanks says they're trained to get around vehicles in tough conditions. If they're driving actually on the one lane actually already on it, they need to continue going at a safe speed. And when they have access to a two lane road to get over on the shoulder to yield to the emergency vehicle. But she says some people cause more harm than good. I have seen people who have tried to get out of the way but not do it properly and almost cause more damage. As for Law, he's concerned those extra three minutes could cost a life. It takes them long enough to get here anyway, especially without being stopped by a red light. In Northeast Jackson, Jordan Hall, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News.